Welcome to Shouts Today. My name is David Linton and today's edition for Tuesday the 9th of March comes to you from London and uh, we're seeing more green on the screen today so that's uh, markets just looking a little bit perkier than they were uh, at the start of the week. So um, we're seeing the dollar holding on to its short-term trend uh, so and medium term making a transition to bullish so the picture is looking better there. The euro is therefore falling back against that stronger dollar back below the 120 level and looks like we might be saying goodbye to the 120s for a little while uh, there. Against the yen the dollar is sitting at 108.66 so stronger dollar showing through really showing its long-term trend change here so that uh, is a key and we're seeing that sterling is sitting at 139 just below 139 this morning so still uh, marching up the hill against that dollar but just that uh, stronger dollar just showing through there over the last few days and against the euro sitting at 116.67 had a target of 116.86 uh, which we nearly got to so um, that's quite key uh, we um, we've we're looking pretty bullish for sterling now uh, across the board really Taking a look at Bitcoin, we jumped back above the $50,000 mark, so that's uh, looking stronger. Uh, and if we look at the uh, market in the US, it was down half percent on the S&P. The Nasdaq, a real yo-yo on the Nasdaq uh, at the moment. We're seeing a lot of volatility creeping in, uh, up and down. We're seeing the futures, for example, today. The S&P futures up one percent. The Nasdaq E-mini futures up over two percent. So a strong opening, but uh, we're seeing this real seesawing and a lot of volatility coming in. Downside potential of around 10, 11 percent, with short-term targets four to eight percent lower. So that's quite key. Remembering this is my weekly, my daily, my 60-minute, my long-term, medium-term, and short-term view of the market. The VIX volatility stepped back from the high 20s, sitting at 24. It's the fear index coming back under control with that stronger showing. And if you look at the uh, FTSE future, it's up uh, just under a quarter percent this morning, and the cash market in Germany up, Germany up just 0.4 percent, looking stronger short term. And we're seeing good upside targets there. Weaker euro is certainly helping matters and we're breaking higher. So a good week in Germany um, compared to most other markets. Uh, the CAC Courant also pushing higher, wandering into bullish territory on that long-term chart at last and good upside targets. So I'm 40% higher, 25% uh, on the shorter term and then 40% longer term. And we've got good upside targets on the um, short-term chart as well. Taking a look at uh, the um, Japanese market, we're at 1.2% there, and the Hang Seng was also up. China just struggling a little bit, down 1.8% in Shanghai, so it's had a pretty big down week looking at that weekly candle so far this week so China is falling away we do have targets lower but the long-term picture is still pretty bullish uh, India up over 1.2 percent so looking strong there and if we look at the Aussie market also looking quite strong uh, into moving into uh, long-term bullish territory as well uh, looking at gold we are sitting at 17 Two, we did negate the downside target on this uh, medium term chart. We had a target to three thousand. We've negated that, so that is a little bit um, concerning. But of course, the trend is still up, and so um, we've just got to, to pull back to our support level and find that floor. Uh, but for the moment, we're looking bearish on that uh, medium term chart. The short term picture trying to turn around, but uh, gold not looking as good as it was. Silver is looking stronger, up 2.3%, holding on to its um, medium-term trend, uh, so looking better than gold. Uh, and if we look at copper, that's down a further 1.3%. Had a, had falls yesterday as well, uh, so we're just seeing a little bit of a, a fall away. But boy, oh boy, what a run copper's had this last year. Looking at uh, treasury yields, we're pulling right the way back. We were at 1.6% yesterday. Um, we've come back to 1.4%. A lot of volatility in the yield. There's no question, though, that we are transitioning uh, to long-term bullish on um, yields. So we are seeing changes there in the bond market. And the 10-year bond was up sharply yesterday as well, falling back today, coming back to short term bearish, but the medium and long term trends looking pretty bullish indeed. So some pretty big targets on the yield charts. Uh, taking a look at the energy mix now, we've got Brent crude. It was uh, nudging that 71 level yesterday, broke above it uh, briefly, uh, hit the targets 
uh, and now we are looking to the one minute chart. We've got a potential downside $65, but we need to move below uh, the low seen yesterday to activate that. And WTI sitting at 65.32, so quite key there as well. The trend still very much up. Uh, taking a look at Nat Gas, we're seeing here we're still bearish on that short term chart, so uh, that's quite key with the one minute charts uh, lower. And if we look at coal, uh, we are nudging higher this morning, maybe finding some support on the cloud. Uh, but we were a bit bearish on coal at the start of the week yesterday. Emissions, though, we were pretty bullish and looking strong here for breakout. Good upside target, so looking better there. Gas markets actually looking pretty good this week so far. Uh, we were um, neutral on gas, but uh, we, we're seeing here that we are seeing some strong showings of the day, but the trend is longer term down, so that we are fighting that. If we look at TTF, uh, we're down one point. 9% this morning, but nudging back into bullish territory above the clouds, so that's quite key. Um, looking at uh, the, the winter gas or seasonal summer gas now, looking much better there as well for a break, and we've got good upside targets, so not looking as bad as it was. German power. Uh, looking very strong and we called the breakout yesterday and that's where we're going good upside targets uh, so that's that's well worth watching keep an eye on those one minute targets on your charts and if we look at uh, Nordic power we're seeing here up 1.4 percent again we we're bullish and um, on the quarterly the cow looking uh, the quarterly looking stronger than the cow so that's looking pretty good too that's it for today until tomorrow happy charting see you then